my oak class now today i want to talk to you about temperatures i know a lot of you have been embracing our new topic of whatever the weather and you've been looking at the different types of weathers and the different seasons and one thing that has kind of popped up is temperature so this week i really wanted you to focus on what temperature is what it tells us and how to read it so to know what temperature is you're going to need something called a thermometer now this is the thermometer that i have in my greenhouse i have one inside my house and there's lots of different ways that you can have a thermometer i've got one up here which looks almost like a clock you can have one as an app on your phone or your tablet but today we're going to be talking about this type of thermometer so i've actually drawn a picture of it for you <laughs> here it is and you can see the kind of general shape of the thermometer and you've got this empty part at the top and all of your numbers will be going up the thermometer now this red stuff inside the thermometer is called mercury and this expands and goes up the thermometer to tell us what temperature is so if it was here you could read across and see what temperature it would be now the colder it is the less it's going to travel up the thermometer and the warmer it is the higher it's going to go up so it rises the higher it gets so when you're reading a thermometer like this one there is this red line inside can you see the red line it's around here it's quite hard to see on camera but if you have a thermometer at home you can definitely have a go at reading your one um, but there is this red line that stops around here and when you go across it tells you what the temperature is so having a look at mine right now the thermometer shows me that it is around 10 degrees celsius so it's quite warm in this greenhouse it's definitely a lot warmer than outside outside my car said it was around two degrees celsius so that red line we've gone back down towards where the two is so i do have a thermometer in my car maybe check and see if there's a thermometer in your mummy or daddy's car just see what the temperature is outside and it will be different inside as well if you have a thermometer that you can move around it could be quite interesting to see what it's like in the greenhouse what it's like in the house what it's like in the garden now in oak class this week we're also going to be thinking about minus numbers because it has been very chilly recently and there has been some frozen ice so we were talking about why the puddles had frozen and what this meant and what temperature it would have to be to cause the puzzle puddles to freeze so this zero here is just where freezing point is so if your thermometer shows you that that red line has gone down below the zero it means it's freezing so if you notice on your outside thermometer that the reading is below zero so it's in a minus number so it's even smaller it's going that way that way that way if you notice that it will mean that all the puddles and all the rain and everything outside would have frozen so have a look see if you can find a thermometer at home see if you can read it and see if you can understand how it changes and see this red mercury going up and down the thermometer and the higher up it goes the warmer it is and the lower it goes the colder it is perhaps you could add this into your weather diary if you're still keeping your weather diary or even just keep a temperature diary of how the temperatures change either across a whole day you can measure it once every hour or across all the week so measure it each week and also have a look at what the temperature is like inside and outside to see if it's warmer or colder in the house warmer or colder outside have a go so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon oak class bye